Hey, how's it everybody? Aloha. Well, it looks like by the virtue of this name of this track, uh, Vitalism, Vitalism, forgive me, you know how I am with my enunciations, Pagan, and it's a guitar playthrough, so I'm thinking this is instrumental. And I'm looking at the thumbnail, and they have uh, seven or eight strings there, so I have a funny feeling this would be very interesting. Um, I've never heard of this, uh, the band or the artist, if that, I, I believe they're a band. And uh, so, but I figured this is a really good way to set off the sizzle for Friday, which is tomorrow, and I'll <coughs> be doing some uh, nice uh, metal drops tomorrow. So anyhow, let's do this. Uh, Vitalism, Pagan, guitar playthrough. Thank you for your support. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee because the uh, ads on the videos don't support the channel, their copyright claims, the link will be down below. The link will be down below for their merch and Spotify. So let's do this. Vitalism. God, I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Pagan, a guitar playthrough. <laughs> All right. So, of course, I was flinging it out there, but I was right. This is definitely a, um, you know, very progressive red, uh, metal um, performance here. Now, the opening of it, obviously, uh, very South American sounding. Um, and by looking at their hands and stuff, very well-trained musicians. There's no two ways about it. Um, there is, at the beginning, there, if it's just the two of them, I'm hearing one layer every now and then come in to support the movement forward before they got into the uh, heavier metal part of it. And, um, but the phrasing is absolutely beautiful and the chord changes is what um, is telling me uh, and the style of playing that it's uh, Spanish. Now I can't, I'm not going to pin it as what particular type of Spanish. I did South, say South American but um, you know there's obviously some flamenco influence in this just a little bit. From what I can feel, I'm not an aficionado on this on the many super different styles of guitar. Then when they came in with the metal, that didn't surprise me. I'm sure you saw me say, so, "Okay, well there it is, right there." And uh, but keeping up with that energy of the opening um, arrangements and compositions, what they really did is they stepped it up by kicking in all the heaviness and then adding the new metal, math metal, prog rock energy to it. So it, <coughs> excuse me. So as you listen to this even though it really kicked in heavy and gnarly and uh, you know the drums, the bass, everything kicks in, they stayed true to the theme of the track thus far. Uh, Skill-wise, I don't know, you know, this is where you get to that level where these musicians are just so good. It's just a matter of now how they decide to express themselves to the world with their skill set. Still being able to flare the taste and the styles and the dynamics and the technicality of their guitar playing, the sweeps, the precision of their playing. Uh, is one thing and um, uh, anyhow um, so, you know thus far this is absolutely crazy and then that little section where they went double time with the drums also was absolutely like uh, I started getting a little fired off and stuff in that but let's continue to listen to it. <laughs>
Also, I want to bring up, this is probably the most, uh, you know, progressive um, uh, engineering uh, tactics and dynamics um, that I've heard. Uh, though this track looks like it was released in 2016, at least this video was, and I don't know when the original song was released. But the kind of work that's going into the engineering is, is just as intense as the musicianship. I'm not going to say one more than the other without a doubt. The musicianship, you know, is, is heavy. But, you know, a lot of times engineers, before they get to this place, even if it's one of the guys that are doing it, they've been doing it for years and years and years and years as well. And they've perfected their craft. So there's a lot of trickery going on in the engineering aspects of, you know, creating that space in between the chugs the effects when they're doing whammy bar bends you know or if they're there was that one little section where before the harder riff that just came in the heavy riff chug that just came in everything boxed out into a real pull down compressed and scooped out eq'd and i thought for a second it was uh, could have been a synth sequence but then it, it bloomed and it came to life and blew up you know it went from this sound into a hard left right you know um explosion there so and then of course you know throughout this you know relying on that chugging bottom end to keep the drive going forward but still what i love about this is they're just keeping the theme completely consistent all the way through you know this 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 south american kind of spanish flair uh is completely consistent through this whole uh track and once again there was that one little part where they did that super fast sweep it almost sounded like like the end of a Pac-Man game or something like that. You know. <laughs> You know, I don't know if it's me, but I'm not hearing a definitive bass. Is this probably one of those like animal as leaders type tracks and stuff like that where they have, you know, enough strings to actually play the bass on the bottom? And I don't hear anything that's actually a standout bass, bass part for this, which is totally fine and cool. I just, for myself, sometimes I feel like, am I hearing it? Am I not hearing it? And because for me, life's compositions and how I approach writing music and doing arrangements and stuff is there's a bass element that is very close to what I believe is is the element of talking to our soul because it's in a a, a, a tonal zone, you know, from zero to 2,500, you know, uh, I like to call it beetle fart zone. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I don't know if there is a bass and if there is, it's kind of low in the mix. And if there isn't, and these guys are doubling up as the bass as they're coming up on top, or at least with the with the chugs and stuff, um, I just can't, I, I can't seem to feel, I don't know if you, you guys tell, because you know the band better than I do. So please let me know if they do have a bass player or if, I, or if I'm just not hearing it because I'm getting old. I don't know. That was heavy. I mean, something else too is that I can't help but when I think of, um, oh, what's this? Sorry, I started yapping at the end of the song here. Oh, it's credits. Or at least it probably seems like it would be. Oh, there it is. Um, you know, I can't help but when I listen to, you know, young musicians play guitar and everything, I can't help uh, but refer to my influence, like a Frank Gambale. You know he's 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 a, he's the the king of sweeps, and those at least 
or maybe now he's the grandpa. No, no offense if he sees he's just like, oh, look at that guy. Um, and that was an absolutely wonderful expose of, you know, precision sweeping and stuff like that. I really dug the track. I really did. And it, and it was right up there with an animals as leaders kind of vibe and stuff like that. And, and, it, and it's just waving the flag on the intense uh, leaps and bounds that musicians have taken with their skill set, the skill set their musicianship, their composition, their arrangement. See, the more complicated, the better you get with your with your instruments, and the more you actually will be pushing your arrangements and compositions. And that's where guys like, well, this guy, or Animals Leaders, or or this this group, uh, or Tim Henson, and those guys that just push it to the most unbelievable uh, unbelievable levels. In this case, by using, um, you know, the, so the, uh, the South American or the Spanish uh, feel with the chord changes and everything like that, that, that they stamp that as their marker, you know, for their style on this particular track. So, nonetheless, please tell me any other songs you'd like for me to uh, listen to. This was really super cool, and I needed this, and this is a great way for me to drop in into tomorrow when I do a, a real super metal drop tomorrow of, a, of two bands, two bands tomorrow. So, anyhow, thanks a lot. If you want to support the channel, support me. Buy me a cup of coffee, super cool beans. The links down below link for their music their spotify down below too and a link for these headsets if you're curious on what it is that i'm listening to these akg 240s the link will be down below as well so uh yeah seeing you tomorrow with some uh, metal drop all right